All right, I want to talk to you guys about uh, perception and achievement and also operating on autopilot. Uh, as you, I'm sure you've heard, if you can perceive it, you can achieve it. And I wholeheartedly agree with that. No gripe with that. You have to be able to perceive it first. And if you can perceive it, then you can achieve it. But it's not axiomatic that because you perceive it, you will achieve it. That's not, that doesn't just happen on its own. It's not like you say to yourself, okay, I can perceive that, so I'm just going to go in here and mindlessly pull this cable handle, throw this dumbbell around, roam around, talk to everybody, chat it up. This is the gym. This is where it happens. And uh, any day now, it should just happen. Uh-uh. It doesn't just happen. Whatever you're trying to achieve it doesn't just happen. In any aspect of life, no aspect of life does it just fucking happen unless you're like one of the most luckiest people walking around, which, you know, that's all, again, um, a matter of perception. Maybe I am and maybe I am not, but you have to be able to perceive it. You have to be able to perceive it and visualize it. I'm a big believer in visualization. I'm a big believer in positive thinking a big believer in surrounding yourself with positivity, okay? Yeah, there are going to be haters out there, little busters. They're going to, going to uh, shit all over that. Uh, oh, positive thinking. Yeah, you're right. That'll, you can just think it into being. I believe you can. I believe you can. I'll put it this way. Maybe you cannot think it into being. But if you're negative and you walk around negative with a shitty attitude and you're shitting all over everybody else's efforts, and decrying things that they're doing that are working for them. They're achieving. They're not only just perceiving, they're achieving. And if you're walking around, you know, with all that creating, all that negativity, you're just fucking, just, just expelling negativity all in the air, just like a fucking cloud, like pig pen on the fucking peanuts that just follows you around. That shit coalesces around you, and it will negatively impact what you're trying to do. So I am absolutely a big believer in you surround yourself with positive influences, positive thinking, and you try every day to be as positive in every situation, as many instances as you can muster. You're going to see more positive things in your life. You will see more positive results in your life. I'm telling you, it's good shit. Try it before you go saying it doesn't work. Try it before you decry it. Try it before you decry it, right? Clear your pay, plate, lift your weight. Clear your plate, lift your weight. You got to perceive it, then you got to achieve it. It doesn't just axiomatically happen. <clears throat> if you perceive it, you can achieve it. If you perceive it, you can achieve it. So you have to be able to perceive it. But it's a two pronged thing. Do I perceive it? Yes, I do. So now you can achieve it. But will you, will you achieve it? Are you doing your due diligence? Are you still moving in that direction? It doesn't just happen because you can perceive it. Right? Two prongs. You got to fulfill that second prong. You have to actually set out, perceive it, set out to achieve it, and see that you do. Keep going after it every day. Consistency. Small steps to the moon every day. You don't just do your due diligence one good day. And then for the next two weeks... You know, you fuck up or you're haphazardly, you might be on the mark here, and then you're off a day or two, and then, no, 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 every fucking day. Just like the water thing, just like every aspect of it. You don't just drink your gallon of water one day, and you don't get any water for a couple of days, and then you drink a gallon of water for one day, and it doesn't work that way. You're not going to tighten up that way. You're not going to drop water weight under your skin that way. You're not going to be hydrated like you should be that way. In fact, that's probably going to encourage a little bit of blurriness and a little more holding of the water under the skin. That's just one example. But the whole deal is that way, man. The feeding of your body, the nutrition, it's all a daily. It's all always has to be in your mind. And, and you have to do it every day. It doesn't matter what you did yesterday. Today's a new day. If you don't do right today, yesterday won't mean shit. It all adds up together, okay? You can't keep going up the ladder if you don't put some more rungs in the ladder, Right? The rungs have to be close enough together, you can reach them. So daily, you have to do everything you need to do every day. And every time you go into the gym, you know, you don't just show up and get into the gym and have one awesome workout 
and then you miss a few days or miss whatever, unless that makes you happy. If that makes you happy, then I'm not going to decry what makes you happy and is fulfilling and satisfying to anybody out there. If that's your thing and you're getting your money's worth, and when I say money, I'm not just talking about your membership or whatever, if that, if that applies, if you're not training at home or something or with friends in a basement somewhere or a garage, but money is also your effort, your sweat, that money, that currency. That's the currency we trade in here. That's what. That's the shit that anybody can come up with the fucking $25 a month, $30 a month, whatever your gym membership might be. Maybe you go to some fancy-ass gym and it's $75 a month. Maybe you go to some cheap old gym and it's only $10 a month. It doesn't matter. All right? Anybody can fucking scrounge that up. Maybe you don't pay anything. And you got them all beat because you're training at home like I do frequently. That's awesome. But talking about the other coin of the realm, the currency that we deal in that yields the result. All right? The gym membership, that doesn't guarantee you're going to yield the result. It just makes it possible. Having the equipment or place to go to get to the equipment and get your hands on the equipment, that, doesn't, that just makes it possible. It doesn't mean anything's going to happen. Correct? And it's the same thing with this. Two prongs. Same way. You have to perceive it, sure, but that guarantees nothing. You have to see that you achieve it. You gotta perceive it first, right? If you don't perceive of it, you're not gonna achieve of it just by accident. So you perceive it, but then you have to see to, to it that you achieve it. So you have to follow through. You have to be consistent. You have to be consistent. And then the other thing is, is try to try to refrain from um, flying around on autopilot. You know, don't navigate around on autopilot, especially when you get into the gym. You get into the gym, that's most of all, as far as these interests go, right? The building of the muscle, the body, whatever you're trying to do. That's where you especially do not want to be on autopilot. You want to be at the controls. You want to be present and accounted for, not autopilot. And it's very easy to fall into that. It's very easy. It happens to me. It happens to everybody. So don't say you don't know what I'm talking about. It happens. You get so used to doing something... Maybe you're pressed for time. You fit it in where you can. You get to the gym, you know, maybe one day. Maybe not all the time. But you get to the gym, and you're just going through the motions, you know, because it's old hat. It's the same thing, right? Same old flavor. And you're, you're not getting, you know, you have to be present. No autopilot. You've got to be present every rep. You have to be there. Every rep. Every rep has to be part of your strategy. Every rep. Not just a couple here and there. Every rep should count. Every rep should count. When you see me using cables, and I don't need to use a lot of weight, now, could I have used more weight in that back video on those cable exercises? Yeah. Sure I could. Did I show you every set that I do? No. Is that the only back work I do at all? No. That's one workout I do. That's an abbreviated version. Same old exercises, just not as many reps. Not as many sets. But every other back workout, like I wrote in the description, is free weight workout. And when I do the free weight, the volume is lower, weights are heavier, and there are no machines. That's every other workout. But my point here is no autopilot. Okay? Especially, especially on the cables and things. You don't want a ton of weight on the cable. You have to feel it. If I'm pulling something with a cable, I want that muscle contraction to pull it. I don't want to go like this and heave it. If I go like this and heave it, I might just go work with free weights or something because there's no advantage. There's no advantage now to using that machine. Cables are such an enormous advantage and opportunity. Enormous. Beyond what you think they are. All right? But if I'm just going to sling the weight around like this and shit, I see people do it all the time. I've just thrown that out the window. I've just deprived myself of that advantage of that cable. Again, the advantage of the cable shit is because I'm not limited by gravity beneath me. I can move that resistance anywhere I want it, and it'll be pretty much the same resistance throughout the range of motion, whereas with gravity, it's nothing like that. Nothing like that at all. Every time I change or I move or an angle, whatever, gravity's always there. Gravity's always there. But with the cable, you can do what you want to, to where you feel it. But that's it. You have to feel it. You have to contract the muscle and move the weight with the cable. That's your advantage. Less weight. 
I say go lighter than you need to go and develop the feel and then gradually add weight. When you lose the feel, doesn't mean jack shit that you're moving more weight now. You know, you're, you're, you're shitting all over the advantage of the cables. Anyway, getting a little bit off topic there, a little bit sideways, like I'm wont to do, as you know. But don't be on autopilot. Every rep, feel the rep. The mind in there, feel the rep. No distraction. No autopilot. Autopilot's not going to get it done in there. Okay, can you, can you still make progress if everything's not perfect and on point? Of course you can. Of course you can. Will you make the best progress you can possibly make? No. No. Small steps to the moon. That's the fucking golden rule. The more things that you can do, the more fucking places that you can make, you know, cross your T's and dot your I's repeatedly again and again and again. If you miss a few, can somebody still read what you wrote? Yeah, sure. They'll still read it because the rest of it's going to the rest of it's going to make up for it, right? You're still going to get the fucking general impression, and so will your body. But if you cross all the T's and dot all the I's, you're going to have a better result, especially in this. Absolutely in this. Make advantage of every small thing. That's why even if I talk about body fat, if I want to lean down, I want to drink ice water. Ice water, almost frozen all day long. Not just regular room temperature water, not just chilled water. Why? I'm going to burn more calories. Body's 98.6 degrees. has to heat that fucking water up. It's going to dissipate into the water. The heat is. The heat, it's going to dissipate. And as it dissipates from the cold ice water, where's it, your body's have to heat itself back up. It costs calories, the coin of the realm. So it's always, you know, these little details matter. These little details matter. If you don't want to get that detailed about it, don't. If it's a drag, it ruins it for you, don't do it. But if you're trying to get there and you want to get there and you, you want to make every bit of progress you can possibly make, pay attention to the details. No autopilot, all right? Perceive it and then make damn sure you achieve it. The, the, the ability to perceive it just makes it possible to achieve it. It's not just going to happen. You still have to go after it. So don't go in the gym and wander around on autopilot. Go into the gym and make every single rep important. Make them all count. All right, that's it for now. Get out there, get to the gym. I'll tell you another thing. Next time you go, if you're going to the gym today, if you're going to the gym tomorrow, whatever the next time you go is, or whatever the next time you work out, the basement garage, whatever, the very next workout, I don't want you to do one single exercise that you plan to do. I want you to think strategize and come up with alternative exercises and do them for that whole workout and see how you feel about that. Try it. Try it. All right, that's it. I'll be back in a bit. Have an awesome day.